Hello, today we are going to use R to do t-test on one-way ANOVA. We usually start with uh, some experiment we've recorded. In this case, we have in control Limbeck Barmenda and uh, given some values below. That is how we record them, maybe in our notebook. And here we are having for each of the areas altogether 12 observations. So we record it this way in our notebooks, but to analyze it in R, we have to put it in a different form, like it is found on the right side. So we'll have a factor and we'll have a variable. So here we record the number of forms. We have to copy the factor, like here it is control and copy the values and paste there on the right side and go to the next factor, which is the next city name copy the values and paste it on the right side and finally the last factor which is the next city name Barmenda copy and then copy the values and place just on the right side the heading we have uh, x fact which is like for x factoria and y var which is like for y variable so we go and start our R program we type in my.data is equal to read.table bracket open and close and we go inside inverted commas clipboard and comma header or h equal to t which means the header is equal to true so we now put the pound sign there which is an escape symbol to explain what we're doing just like we saw in the previous video and what this code will do is that it's going to copy whatever is in the clipboard so we go to excel and we copy up to limbeck we just want now to compare two towns and uh, you know the reason why later when we hit enter the data will have been copied from the clipboard into R. if we go now on type my.data this will return the data that we've entered if we hit in enter and here we see the data that we've copied from Excel. So if we go names, or a shortcut of doing it is going one arrow up using the cursor of our keyboard and then editing whatever we have there. So I've done that here and then taking names, my.data. So here I'll write the explanation. So if we use the cursor on our keyboard, one step up is going to copy the last program we entered and this way we can save a lot of typing time and just copy the program and do modifications on it so when we hit enter we're going to see the headings showing up this may be important at times for very long data for which you just want to see what is going on so i've taken the arrow key up and uh, the last stuff was copied so i put attach my.data this is important for some programming sequences in r and uh, once that has been done i go to the next type t.test in bracket yvar to x fact and var is equal to true and we, we're going to see later on what all of this means. The t-test generally will work if there are two groups. If you have more than two groups, one-way ANOVA or some form of ANOVA is better. So there we have the value that has been shown. And we can also do this by ANOVA. So we could use one way ANOVA here and basically what we're going to show here is that when you have just two groups for most cases, the computation for one way ANOVA is the same. Like, or let's say the computation results for one way ANOVA is the same like that for t-test. So up is the result for the t-test. There is a p-value. Here is the result for one way ANOVA. There is a p-value. And uh, you also have the stars here showing you the degree of significance. We have three stars 
showing P is less than 0 0.001. So basically the P value for one way ANOVA and T test are the same if you're dealing just with two groups. So the next thing I can do is to use this uh, function t apply y var x fac mean and uh, this is going to give, give give us the means of the different groups that is for control and lean back. If we use this next one t apply y var x fac this is going to uh, calculate the standard deviation and again we also can calculate the length and we can draw a box plot by taking box plot y var to x fac so we have the box plot on the right hand side and here we have the possibility to save as meta file or as postscript or copy as meta file or bitmap so you have to watch our Inkscape tutorial to understand which one is better for you the next thing we will now do is to use all the data set including all the three cities so the control city Limbeck and Bamenda to uh, do our computations again so we go my.data just like you saw before and in this case we're going to do one way ANOVA since we are now having more than two groups we go my.data is equal to read.table clipboard comma header is equal to t and we go to our excel file after doing that so first we write the comments this will copy from clipboard As seen before so we now go to our Excel file and then copy all the data from top to bottom and when we copy it we go back to our console and hit enter and our data has gone in there to be sure we type my.data put in the comment in there this will return the data and when we hit enter we're going to have the data which we've copied into the memory of arrow so we attach just like before attach my dot data enter and uh, i've copied the formula for one way ANOVA somewhere else you can just copy exactly the same thing and you're going to have your result and in this case we are having more than two groups so if we use t-test the error is going to increase the type 1 error so uh, here we preferably we use one way ANOVA we hit enter and we have our result same like before giving us the p-value and what ANOVA does in this case is that it tells us there is a significant difference somewhere but not exactly telling us where so to go out to find out where we are going to do pairwise t-test on the data and this is a, a post hoc test we hit enter and it now gives us a table where it's comparing city by city and giving us the p-value and below it tells us this was p-value adjustment according to the Holmes method so the next thing we can do is to put uh, p.adg at the end of that formula and say it's equal to known so I'll write the explanation here as to why we can put that because we can put um, we can let it be at its default or we say none and uh, when we do this we still have the comparison of city by city but if you notice uh, you see that in certain cases the p-values return are not the same like in this case and here uh, the p-value adjustment that is shown below there is known 
So then we go ahead to uh, calculate the mean like before. And we calculate the standard deviation like before. And we also want to check on the length of our data to be sure we input the right thing. And then we are going to round up this analysis by drawing a box plot just like before. And uh, here we have all three cities showing and again we can copy this as meta file or bit file or meta file as postscript. Are also two saving options. Thank you for watching this.